today and uh, I'm not going to make any speeches. That's good, good, good. Yeah, we, we realise that. But uh, I do want to just thank you for coming along and making not only my birthday, it's Susan's as well, of course, um, so pleasurable and I hope you're enjoying yourself. Now, as you know, there are so many, every one of you are so, so damn interesting. You've all got an interesting tale to tell, I can tell you that. And it's very hard for me or anybody else to take you by the hand and take you around and introduce you to everybody. So I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I've got a very, very short movie or video, if you like to call it that way, to, to introduce every one of you to, uh, to the party today. But there are two people that I have overlooked because, A, I didn't think Peter was going to get here, so unfortunately he's not in it. But I would like to just quickly say about Peter, we've worked for about 40 years together uh, with Andy Zellan and so forth. He was a builder before he came here, and I built a few, when I came over to Australia, we built some houses. This is one of them, and Peter gave us a hand, and I thank you, Peter, for for those years of friendship and uh, help that you have given us. Don't say anything, I know you won't do. But, uh, but uh, look, um, well, first of all, by the way, that bell that everybody threw their hands up with goes back 70 years. In fact, it's rather precious to me because it, this bell was around our little area called Daisy. And Daisy was our cow. And in those days, it was just after the Depression, we had a cow and my mother used to milk it. And this hung around the neck of Daisy and on those wet, cold, wintry days in New Zealand, the little bell was ringing and you could hear where Daisy was and of course mama, mother with the bucket would go down and do the, do the good deed and uh, get the milk. So that, that, that's by and by, but I'm not here to talk about bells. I would like also to just uh, say uh, about Mark. Uh, Mark's not mentioned because I think everybody pretty well knows Mark, but perhaps <laughs> they don't Victorian. know Victorian. that his... I'm going to get do a little publicity for it. They probably don't know that his new book has just been put out. going through a lot of hardships, but it's finally done, and congratulations on that, Mark. Um, and also, recently, his Falling Feather production has been put to music, and they've done a tape, uh, it's a Celtic band that have done it, and uh, it's, it's, it's on sale now, and also he had an exhibition um, with, with some painters down in Victoria that actually did... Um, some paintings of Falling Feather and they were sold and some of the pictures are over here. They're, they're, not, they're, not, a, they're not on sale now. We're not selling them. <laughs> we're not selling, we're not them, selling them. them. No, no, there's no CDs, there's nothing for sale. Just in case you're getting that impression. And they're not even printed. So. But anyway, right, Mark no doubt will tell you a lot about that later on. And also, when I did this little presentation, and I did it off the cuff and I, you know, I I, you know, I'm getting to a stage now at 75, I do forget things. And I forgot to say about my good friend here, John, John Trama. Um, one of his attributes, and there are many, one of them is that he's a bloody good tennis player. And that, I hadn't mentioned this before, but he actually won the Fiji Open, which is a good honour in the singles. And he also won the over 60 world doubles. So, I congratulate him. As I said, we're not here to talk about you or anything else. We're here to talk about you, to get to know everybody, and hopefully we'll get a day to get around and say hello to each other. And I've got the small presentation. It'll only take a few minutes, and if you've got the time, we can put it on now in the lounge here and have a look at it, and we can come back and start our barbecue. Thank you. Hey, Brian, there's one that you can probably look up 
in the next uh, few days. And I said, have a look at this name, Judy and Hans Best, B-E-S-T-E. -E. That's an interesting start. And while I was talking to him about this, he was on his, he's got a very elaborate, Peter. How much steak do you want? Half one?